Hello and welcome back to Darkwood Alpha 6. We're on day 24 now. I'm actually probably gonna hightail it here because uh, as far as Pure Trek goes, if you've been watching previous videos, I've been really nervous about the fact that it doesn't seem like we can actually. Uh, I'm gonna have to fight this thing, aren't I? Oh, no, it gave up. That's unusual. Doesn't see, it didn't seem like we could do all of Piotrek's quest, and it turns out that that's actually the case. Some people have come to realize that the, uh, the battery, one of the items that you need to, to give Piotrek in order to finish the quest, doesn't exist in this version of Darkwood anymore. Which means that you just cannot complete the quest. It's really unfortunate. So I'm not going to dwell on it anymore. I'm just going to go for the doctor's house. And we are totally screwed now, by the way. Um, I would also mention that it hasn't been clear that this is what we should be doing. Because if I look at this... If I look at this... It just says he lives in the northeastern part of the old woods. It doesn't say in what he lives in. He lives in this train wreck. But I think also with the, uh, the wolf, you visit the doctor house and everything, but you're not really guaranteed to get this. Maybe? I'm not sure. It's actually been a while. Are these mushrooms back? I thought I harvested all of them. Maybe I just missed this one. I don't really remember harvesting that specific one. All right, Let's see how this turns out. I don't know which one won out. Walking through the wagon door, I suddenly feel a slight sting. I know someone is behind me, but I can't turn around. I'm losing control of my muscles and collapse to the ground. Doctor's appointment, eh? Very cool, so we're gonna get to see the cool, the cool thing I wanna try and do. A man is standing above me. He's clutching an empty syringe in his shaky hands. I've been waiting for you, you fucking pest. The likes of you are rare around, find, around here. You come to visit only when you feel like it. You hide between the trees, watch us from a safe distance, then return to your hole. We're just test subjects for you. I could feel his cold hand grabbing my jaw, rotating my head so he can look me straight into my eyes. But something was bound to happen. Your comrades have left you for dead. The woods have swiftly gotten the best of you. Test subjects, huh? Ah, oh, yes. I like this sequence. So this is what happens when you get the doctor's appointment. If you haven't been able to tell already. Hello, chicken. Why are you here? So if you notice also, where's the doctor now? We're controlling him just like we did at the very beginning. Empty wardrobe, empty inventory. Okay. Hello, chicken. Her head, huh? That looks like it might be the chicken lady, but I, I didn't look close enough for her sprite. See, there's me. Or somebody like me. Probably just me, though. Outside. Is that the doctor right there? Is that someone else? I think that's someone else. Brews aren't working. Huh? Always clutching their heads. Hurricane. I don't have any supplies. Hello, chicken. So I think the chickens are there to help us emphasize that this is related to Chicken Lady. I really like the way this pans out, too. It's like a cool way to make a cutscene that's not really a cutscene. Still walking through the hallucinogens. She looks like she's having fun. Good times. She's praying. Cure! Looks sedated. I don't know about cured, though. Still praying. Still chicken.
Oh yeah, it's one of you guys and your head is open. It's not good. Why is he not decaying like they are? Well, I don't know what's going on any more than you do. Why is he here? Or make it less creepy. I bet it does. I like that they're alive though. Bugs everywhere. Well, I can't. But see, this is also interesting because it means that like these corpses are whatever. They really were once alive. I did, but I can't. I know how that feels. What's going on here? Oh hey, it's the pustule things. Huh. And then, it's him. Me. Talk. Did you enjoy the show? I can feel my skull cracking under the pressure of the train car's walls. Are you afraid? You want to go, let's go away, to get out of here? Maybe now you'll understand how I feel, locked with all these deformed, rotting bodies among the howling of these pathetic savages. I can't help them, and I can't escape. The pain becomes unbearable. Now, you will show me where the entrance to your underground tunnels lie. Show me the entrance, or die like the rodent you are. <sighs> Alright, I need to be prepared for this. Because this is like... This gets intense, and we need to make right choices almost all the time. my strength, I try to open my eyes, I can barely see a figure above me. You must be proud of yourself. For the first time in your life, you've made a good deed, and also completely unintentionally. I'm completely paralyzed, I can only helplessly watch the doctor leave the train car. Only when he disappears behind the trees, I begin to realize. I told him the location of the underground tunnels. This time the poison is too strong. I lose consciousness and wake up after a few hours. All right. It smells of poultry, huh? The door? I don't see anything. There are no notes. I told the doctor the location of the underground entrance. He must have drugged me. It doesn't matter. I must get myself to the underground before him if I want to get out of here alive. And I think we've also managed to screw ourselves over. Because there is no way in hell that we are making it back. All the way back, uh, back home. On this kind of thing. Uh, it's really unfortunate. Because the whole... I've, I've once before successfully um, completed the whole escape route thing and it's really cool what happens so that's the creepy house we have 20 minutes to get all the way down there I think we've done worse in the past so maybe we'll maybe we'll make it but I'm not optimistic and I'm okay with dying at this point because there's not a lot left to do um, Okay, that was fatal. We're screwed. I hear stuff spawning. No, no you didn't. Yeah, I can remember you. Bastard. No, you stay to your side. 
No, no. You stay outside. You die. Shotgun just saved us. Yeah? You want some too? What? Wait, what? What's going on here? Okay. I don't quite understand that that thing has gotten busted somehow. I don't understand what happened to make it happen that way, but hey. it destroyed this and then went off on its merry way. At least we have the wardrobe still there, so we might block something. Well, we're still alive. I frankly wasn't expecting to remain alive. It was not a thing that was really in the cards very well. Uh, I have... Oh, I do have one. Interesting. Yeah. Good for now, though. Now we just wait out the night, and then I guess we'll go to the underground entrance. That'll actually be that, which means this might be a shorter episode. I don't know if we should buy ammo for stuff. Ah, it was a good idea to keep the shotgun around. Double barrel shotgun too. It just saved us. I saw I saw that horrible pile of death just waiting for us. Didn't come in with the gas though, so that confirms it. That is what the gas is for. Seems like a really quiet night. Just a couple of chompers. It's not a lot though. I guess I'll focus on preparing. I'm really, I'm still really upset that I didn't make it. It really seems to me like I should have. All right, sorry about that little hiccup there. Um, I was actually just checking that I had actually started recording because I didn't remember if I had actually started, and sure enough I had, so. No concerns, I hope it isn't too distracting. The timer would have just stopped and things would seem dead for a little while. Not a big deal. No! Don't want your crap. You're not worth trying to find out, figure out what the hell you're up to. You're also in like the worst position possible, man. Is he knocking here or here? Guess we'll never know. I hear stuff moving outside, which makes me less, much more reluctant to move things because I know they hear it. What? Oh, that's just the wall. It's like there's a door, and I've been missing it this whole time. Oh no. That was just off to the right. Well, at least something happened, even if it wasn't an uneventful thing. It's too late for shadows or anything, so the evening's probably going to wrap up like this. Hooray! They die at the same spot. I wonder if it was, if it's like this precisely because a chomper attacked me. Looks like they destroyed this again for some reason. Don't know why. It's like they just kind of lose interest. They're like, eh, whatever. Didn't even come in and explore. 
The only time they did that was at the, like, the least opportune time, which is when one of them decided to break down this one. And I mean, of course it was, right? Of course it was. I have no use for those. You can have them. Oh, they do sell bullets for the this guy. I thought they might not, just because it's as expensive as it is. There's not really any reason not to buy that, but I know I'm never going to reach max anyway. So, I think eh, it's really hard to motivate myself to actually want to buy any of those things. I have no items for you. I thought maybe you'd like to see the, the thing. So now I have to go to the underground entrance again. But I'm going to swing by the chicken lady real quick on my way there to give her a hat. And yeah, that was probably the least amount of time I spent in the time stop mode. That's because honestly, right now I have the least amount of stuff to do. There's not really any reason to uh, hang around. All that's left to do is kind of GTFO and uh, see if there's anything past chapter one anymore. This seems wrong. This seems like I should be... There we go. There it is. I could use the skills so I can just run more, but... Eh. Pitchfork. I've had this truck be populated a couple of times in the past. It's been a while. Yeah, I think it's not populated. Is there ever anything... I always, I always feel like I want to be able to search the open hood. Anyway. I never searched that corpse before. Oh yes, the old truck. Still have something in it. <coughs> Excuse me. Sure does. Has this reset or something? No. Okay. Doesn't like that. sound. I guess it was just another sound this the gist guy can make. Room inventory. That's true. Drop searched. I guess he only dropped one that time. Bye. Don't worry, I only killed that thing. Alright, you. Oh, it is the chicken lady that's in those memories. Just doesn't have her chickens. Oh, yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Here you go. Oh, Lord! Yannick! The woman starts weeping, clutching the hat with all of her strength. It's out of my inventory now. Nope. I did find a key, though. If you'll remember, though, I didn't spend a lot of time on it. Just might as well. There's no reason to. I'm just trying to make my last few moments last longer. I really did search all of this, huh? Alright. Hey, chickens. I'm not gonna murder you. Don't want your broken heads. So either this was locked, and you couldn't lockpick it. Now we have that poultry smelling key. See, there's some items in here. Clothes. Pile of crumpled pillows and pillowcases. Someone has slept here.
underneath the warm blanket. Cover me, please. It's a neat way to interact with the world, David Torres. Does she say that every time? Can I, I? I'm tempted to try to use my weapon, but I think that'd be a bad idea. a new one. Hums an unfamiliar song seeing if she stops. Yes. So I can't show her the thing that I have in the inventory. like it. <sighs> but I'm really not inclined to torture this thing anymore. Did I have to? It used to be one of the most valuable things and as far as I know nobody knows what it, what you can do with it. There doesn't seem to be anything you can do with it. Maybe now we could give it to your track or, you know, to the Wolfman or something, but that's a better haul than most times. But yeah, there wasn't really a doesn't really seem to have any use in it. I guess I could uh, I could take it and see if the Wolfman wants it. That wouldn't really be a definitive, like, in the final game, I would decide to leave it, I think. Just because it just seems like such an unnecessarily cruel thing to do to someone who's suffering as much as that probably entails. Like having your head split open and stuff. Whatever benefits it might confer, um, I'd just rather not, not do it. There we go. Wheezing again. So if I remember correctly, there was a new enemy and two new NPCs. We have met one new NPC in this entire playthrough. We have met a new uh, enemy, I suppose. The, the one that kills you without the gas. It's not a very exciting new enemy. It's not something you actually get to face. How about you? No, he doesn't care about the thing either. This thing. Nah. Alright. For now I'm in the meadow. I sometimes do consider trying to use that whole, uh, there's a control mode that lets you run in the direction you're facing. Or relative to it. So we'd still be able to go left and right, but we'd use this to control which way we face. And that just seems like a, a nightmare for me. Because, like, right now, I want to be able to look at this and walk in that direction without, like, pressing left or something. I should probably just try it one day, like for, for a couple of days or something, in-game days that is, see how it pans out. What? Why does it have stuff now? That is scary. I don't like that. I don't like that it has stuff now. That sounds like foreshadowing. I don't like the kind of thing it's foreshadowing. source did I have a flare though I happen to have a flare thank God plus jewels new what was a chomper in here I'm pretty sure it's actually a red chomper Red chunk as well. 
good thing black chompers have come in. This is probably the same it's always been. Hello, Scott. I'm not going to loot you. I have to hold down the right click for this. I don't know if you can actually beat him down here or what. We're still closed, so I guess we won. Also, wasn't this totally dark when we swung by? I remember that being a thing, but maybe the lights are now on. That's how it covered that's. Yeah, the door's open, though. Yeah! Alright! We did it! We completed the first chapter. Congratulations, you've completed the first chapter. Look out for more content in the coming updates. You can continue playing if Fish One cover more of Darkwood's mysteries. So we're free, free to keep going. Um, as we've noticed, this hasn't reset at all. But I... I mean, we've kind of visited everywhere. The brook, I think we did everything there was to do there. The road, I think we did everything to do there. Cottage. The other cottage. There, there are three cottages now, aren't there? Ugh. Wiki needs updating. Um, this feels a little bit sparse, but I remember there really isn't anything here. Maybe there's something over here. But I don't think there's actually a lot for us to do anymore. Just to survive nights and, and see how it goes and try weapons. Um, so I think I'm actually going to end it there. And that'll wrap up this, this uh, view of Darkwood Alpha 6. Disappoints me that we did not see another new NPC, but maybe if you make different choices, you can you can get to see it. I don't know what it is. There hasn't been. I haven't seen anyone talk about it or mention mention what it is. Um, but you know, maybe you watch different videos than I do. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be doing next. I have a few games that I'd like to work through, and some of which, like Witcher 3, I have installed, but I don't really think that game lends itself as well to playing and narrating, so I'd rather just play that one on my own time. Um, there might be a couple other games, but for now, I mostly just wanted to capture Darkwood Alpha 6, and I'll come up with something. We'll see. Um, I'm open to suggestions, I guess, if you're interested in that kind of thing. Do let me know if there's something that you recommend. Um, for now, though, this has been an actual full look at all of chapter one of Darkwood Alpha 6. Um, we'll see. Maybe I'll put up another series of videos with Alpha 6.1 if it changes enough. But for now, thank you for watching. It's been good.